What's going on everybody? Tim here. I'm uh, coming at you with a uh, video on how to change strings on an electric guitar. Uh, for this video we're going to need a couple of things. Uh, we're going to need some strings. We're going to need a guitar tuner. We're going to need a pair of wire cutters. And you will need a string winder. Or in the case of myself, I'm using this bad boy. This is an electric string winder. It was given to me as a gift for Christmas one year, and uh, man, I love this thing. <laughs> so anyway, this is what I'll be using, but you can get by with just the normal string winder um, if, uh, if you want to do that. So uh, let's get to it, and uh, I will show you exactly what I do, the method that I use for changing strings. Okay, so what we have here is, this is a Fender Stratocaster. Um, I'm using my Strat uh, for today's electric guitar demonstration because the Stratocaster is one of the most popular electric guitar styles. Now, uh, there's a lot of things that, are that have been done on the Stratocaster that you will find in common with many other guitars out there. So this should be a pretty good guide for changing strings on an electric guitar. Now this process is really simple and there are actually a few different variations on changing strings that I have uh, observed over the years but this is the method that I use and it has never steered me in the wrong direction at all um, so uh, basically what I do is I make sure that the guitar is uh, already tuned up before I string the uh, before I do a restring uh, the reason I do that is because it continues to maintain tension across the neck and the body and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change each string individually okay so we're going to be using these Diodario uh, guitar strings um, this is a set 10 through 46. Now I absolutely love these strings. I think these are some of the best electric guitar strings out there. Um, as always as a player you want to find what sounds best to your ear and you want to experiment but for me these are the these are the player's choice. Um, what I really like about Diodario is that uh, when they package their strings they give you a little chart on them that tells the color of the ball ends. Now, if you can see this, the strings all have little color-coded ball ends. Here's green and black. And what's great about that is that that helps you know which string is what in the process. Um, I love that method. I think it's wonderful. And then they always seem to package them together. So the first two that we start with are going to be the brass, which is going to be the bass string on the guitar. And then the red which is going to be the next string in line so I've gone ahead and unwound those and those are ready for us to go so what we need to do is we need to go about the process of removing the original string from the guitar so what you'll do is you can take your string winder and you can go ahead and oops, begin unwinding that it works like that or in my case, I like to apply a little power to it. All right. Now we have pulled the string off the guitar. Now what I do here is I just, in the middle, clip the string. And then just to keep the workbench a little more orderly, I wind up the clippings, wind them together here, and just set them aside. Now, on the Stratocaster, the cool thing is they have, this one has a through bridge. What that means is the string on this bridge, let me see if I can zoom into the bridge here so you can see a little bit better. The string on the bridge goes all the way through. So when you flip the guitar over, you can pull the string out through the bottom. And you'll restring through the back as well. So pull it out and you run it through the back. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that brass string and we're going to do the same thing. Flip it over, you're going to run it through, Like so. Alright, 
this. So once we get here, uh, we're going to lay the string out, and then I measure it. When I do my measurements on the headstock, what I do is it needs to go to this pin. So I always measure it one pin and a half ahead. Make a little marker. I take my wire clippers. Clip that off, and then there's a little hole in the string peg that I just slip that through, and I bend it ever so slightly to create a notch. Now what we'll do is we'll take our string winder, and we'll wind, and I make sure the string goes under the little clipping from the top there. Okay, and then you want to make sure that on the nut here, the string sets in the nut. And you just check your points on the, on the wind. You want to make sure that it's sitting securely in the nut here. And then back here at the bridge, you want to make sure there's a little groove in the bridge see if I can show that off. There's a little groove in the bridge and you want to make sure that the string sits in that groove. Okay, which it looks like it is. So the string's in the groove. Now what I do from here is I'm going to make sure that the guitar, or that that string is, is uh, in tune. So I'm going to take my guitar tuner and you want to make sure that it's tuned pretty close to pitch once you've got it to pitch, you're good. And that's the process. You repeat that with each of the strings until you get down here to the high E. And I'll show you that part next. Okay, so I've gotten the other four strings, 6th, um, 5th, 4th, and 3rd, uh, already squared away on this guitar. I've went ahead and just repeated the process that I showed you. Now uh, what we've done is uh, I've removed the uh, last two strings, which are the second and the first strings. And what I want to do here is I want to show you how I handle this because obviously we run out of string pegs to use as a measuring point. So this is the second string. I've run it through. And what I do is I just stretch it to the tuning peg. I go one and then I go to the end. And this is where I'm going to clip it. So I'm just going to clip the string on the end from here and use it to run through and string this string this one up. All right. Now we've got the uh, now we've got the second string squared away and once again on the first string I pull it through. Now what I do here is something a little bit different. I uh, take the string all the way to the post and then I wrap it and I come to the second post one and a half. So I'll clip this one about here and then I'll restring according to the same method that I've been using. And there we have it. The guitar has completely been restrung. All of the old strings have been removed from the guitar and uh, we've got a new one, new set of strings on it. Uh, the guitar is tuned up to pitch and uh, what I do from here is I usually will play it for 15 minutes or so to kind of get the strings broken in and stretched and you should be good to go. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, just shoot them to me in the comments section below, and I'll do the best I can to get back to you. Until then, I hope you guys are rocking on, and uh, we will talk to you later. Bye.